in Laredo on the 80, Highway 83. Uh, as we were driving up, we saw a helicopter circling low. Helicopter is right over behind me. It's uh, it's landed since then. Uh, I, I made contact. Let me flip this real quick. Made contact with Border Patrol. They said that they were in an active pursuit of a group uh, running through the desert. These are people that do not want to get caught. These are the people that the cartels send when they're using women and children as a distraction that don't want to get caught. They caught, captured six men. Uh, they uh, We asked them. They said they were from Mexico. We don't know what they were carrying. They all have backpacks. They're all in camouflage or uh, uh, earth tone colors to blend in. They were hiding in the bushes right to my left. I just want to show you this. This is an active scene. Hit the like button. Let America know what is happening right now. This is live en route to Laredo, Texas. And we were simply driving on the highway. This is how uh, prevalent this is. We were just driving on the highway on 83 to Laredo, Texas, and we came upon a helicopter circling. It's a dead giveaway when they're low. He was about 40 feet off the ground, hovering over the bushes. You know what they're doing. We, we were out here for about 20 minutes. I was just on with Steve Bannon on War Room. Uh, and as we were live, these guys were captured and brought across. Uh, now they're being detained and questioned. This is a Democrat-caused border disaster. And America needs to see it. They are lying to you. They are lying to you. The fake news propaganda media is lying to you. They know exactly what they're doing. This is intentional. They're trying to overrun our country and undermine our sovereignty. They're trying to overwhelm our welfare state. They're trying to destroy the greatest country in the history of the world and replace it with their socialist communist utopia. What they're trying to do is destroy it. And that's the truth. They want open borders because they know what it means. They've called it. The UN has talked about it for years. This is about redistributing America's wealth. You see Will Johnson with me in the background, my wingman, United America First. Dot com. Guys, if you support what we're doing out here, please hit the like button, share this, copy it, copy it and post it on other social media. Fund us if you can. If you have the ability, hit that super chat. Whatever you got to do, hit the like button. All right, I'm going to flip this around and talk to you about it. This is an ongoing active scene. Again, we are in just uh, just outside or between, right between Laredo and Zapata, Texas. We've got six men that have been apprehended from Mexico out in the middle of the desert. The cartel controls all of this. Keep hitting that like button, guys. The cartel controls all of this. This is a combination. We're in an area here uh, on the outskirts of Gulf Cartel and Zeta Cartel. And as you go along the each area of the border is controlled by different cartels. You get closer to uh, Arizona, and that's, that's more of the Sinaloa cartel out here. It's a lot of Zeta. And they're all fighting for, for territory. This is an ongoing war between the cartels for drug territory. This is what this is for sex trafficking and human trafficking. And our Border Patrol agents, guys, they're being put in harm's way. Every single day, these guys are doing their jobs, protecting our country, and now they have an anti-American leftist, Democrat-controlled government that is putting their lives in danger. Thank you, Shandon. Shanda. That, Daniel, that's a good point. Why don't they arrest Biden and the, the Democrats? The problem is our justice system has become the injustice system. Many of the people, many of the people that are running are DAs. Many of our DAs are, are complicit. Many of our judges are now complicit. This, this goes to the highest level. Guys, keep hitting that, that like button. Looks like YouTube is trying to shadow ban this. YouTube is trying to shadow ban it. We can't let them, guys. Keep hitting that thumbs up. Keep hitting that thumbs up. That's right. That's exactly right. Wow. Okay. Okay. I got to get to that point. Uh, somebody just made. Let me see who that was. Hang on here. This is the point. Lisa Price says, God invented borders for a reason. To all the leftists. Oh, that's such a great point, Lisa. 
to all the leftists out there. And by the way, we do have uh, my brother, conservative Anthony, across the road over there. who just finished up his live as well. Uh, he's being attacked. My brother Blue in Mexico is being attacked. It's all by the same fake news media that is trying, that is complicit with this. They are protecting them. They're protecting the leftist organizations in Mexico and Central America that are allowing this to happen. Not, not only allowing it, but encouraging it. We have organizations in Mexico and Central America that are funded with your tax dollars in some cases that are teaching people how to break into our country. The same fake news media that's protecting them, guys. They don't want you to hear this. But to Lisa's point, God invented borders. The wall into heaven is infinitely tall. And the gate is narrow. There's only one way in. It's through Christ. God is a God of order and a God of borders. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar. But this again, guys, I need you to do me a favor. As soon as this live ends, share this. Copy it, share it, post it everywhere. Say, this is happening. We were just driving down the highway. This was not a planned stop. We were driving down the highway. We saw the helicopter. I believe the helicopter is still on the ground over here. Let me... Let me go over here and just check. God bless our border patrol. God bless these guys. Doing amazing work. Let me just see if the helicopter is still over here just to kind of get fill the, the story in for you. And if you believe in what we're doing, guys, please support. But tell your friends, tell your contacts. I don't know if the helicopter moved on to another location. It may have. It landed uh, right over here behind the, in, in all of the, excitement. I wasn't paying attention to if it stayed on the ground. We're right on Highway 83 en route to Laredo. I'll be speaking there later today at 3.55 local time, 4.55 Eastern. Yeah, it looks like the helicopter took off. It landed right in, those, right in that brush right over here. Now we've got this active scene, guys, out here on Highway 83. Again, we were just driving down the highway and we saw this. This is how prevalent this is. It's happening everywhere, everywhere. Every state is a border state, not just the states that border the border. Every state is a border state. Every state is impacted by this. And look, we support, we, we shouldn't have to preface it anymore, but the lying fake news media who calls everybody who wants border sovereignty a racist, we have to say it. I support legal immigration. My wife is a legal immigrant. She escaped communism. Her family escaped communism to get here because they wanted the American dream. They wanted the freedom and opportunity that America provides, not the handouts. They didn't want the handouts. They wanted the opportunity. That's what America is. America is an opportunity. It's not a guarantee. What makes America great is we have that opportunity. You have that opportunity, regardless of the color of your skin. If you're black, if you're brown, if you're white, it doesn't matter. You have the same opportunity. My wife's family came here for that opportunity. And to hear these scumbags say that I'm anti-immigrant or I'm racist. Guys, they're liars. They're liars and they name people. These are the same people, guys, that are supporting the invasion of our country. These are the same people that are teaching critical race theory in your kids' schools. They're trying to teach your kids that if they're black, there's something other than. They are the racists. They're saying, you can't succeed without us. They're saying the government is your answer. The government has never been the answer. The government, the only answer the government is, is to get out of the way and allow you to become what you want to become, to succeed or fail. Legal immigration has made this country great. Illegal immigration is destroying this country. And the left and the people that are supporting it are a part of that. The people that have come here legally, there's a reason why they hate what's going on behind me. They hate the fact that we've got six men from Mexico that just got caught crossing our border illegally. They hate that. They hate that our border patrol is having to be used as Uber for the cartels right now. They hate that. That's why they're voting for President Trump in record numbers. That's why they're going away from the Democrats. People are waking up, but there is so much fraud. There's so much lies out there in the media and in our education system and in every area of our society that the message isn't getting out there. That's why it is critical, guys, that you share this video. You share it, you tag people, and you say, this is the truth of what is happening. Call out CNN. Call out MSNBC. 
call out the Daily Beast, these worthless rags that are just 